Hi everyone, uh, this is Jay here from Interview Query and from Data Science Jay YouTube channel and today I wanted to go over the data science role at Netflix, uh, some tips and guides on how to proceed if you have an interview there and then also what you can expect. Also, everyone, please check out Interview Query. It's a website that I made specifically to prepare data scientists for their interviews. Uh, you can filter a bunch of data science interview questions by company, uh, run SQL queries, discuss solutions, and learn data science with our in-depth solution guides that we provide. Uh, you can sign up at interviewquery.com uh, and get a free weekly interview question in your inbox. Okay, so Netflix as a whole uh, is basically branded in everyone's mind. Like It is almost as synonymous as uh, the other tech giants out there nowadays. Um, I would say that uh, the DNA of Netflix is always and has been within data science. Uh, it is basically what you see when you open up the Netflix app on your TV. Uh, they're giving you recommendations and that recommendation engine powers uh, the forefront of all of data science on Netflix, right? Because uh, their entire business model is based off the fact that you will continue watching uh, their show and you will go back to Netflix, uh, the channel, again and again and again and you'll never cancel your subscription, right? And so essentially I think uh, the data science role there is pretty interesting because uh, it's so heavily uh, theoretical and um, very much dependent upon uh, very like academic uh, and PhD experience, right? And so you can come in actually within data analytics uh, as a senior uh, kind of data scientist and they generally only hire senior people um, with and they do it within analytics right and so you can come in with industry experience work your way up and uh, you know do some work around uh, analytics on different devices uh, TV shows you know watchability all that stuff but in terms of the actual like machine learning components the actual um, research that goes behind like the personalization and algorithms, uh, that is where they actually specifically hire uh, roles that are very much geared towards um, the actual like specific role itself, right? And so I would say that each recruiter at Netflix actually finds out about like a job opening or the role works with like the hiring manager pretty closely uh, to then be able to go in and try to define an actual um, and find like a very specific person for the job. And so every single kind of job that's crafted by Netflix is very specific and they have a very uh, specific kind of skill set that they're looking for. Uh, and so it's not just one of those um, companies that goes out and hires like a bunch of people, hires a bunch of new grads and then places them wherever they are. Uh, they're very, very, very um, specific about their hiring. So kind of now that I've talked about more of the background there, um, what are like the general data science teams? Uh, I kind of mentioned personalization algorithms. That one is obviously gonna be there because it is there to uh, evaluate the performance of suggesting TV shows, you know, movies, trailers to Netflix members. Um, the product research and tooling team is pretty interesting as well. This is pretty common. This is like advanced experimentation methods to uh, basically develop product at Netflix, which is actually TV shows. Um, like how do you arrange sets in ways that they're uh, more uh, viable and will operate faster. Uh, it's very like very um, interesting kind of uh, new age stuff in which they're really trying to apply data to um, this industry that's been Hollywood and always kind of generally uh, old age and not really prone to technology. Um, I would say then the next kind of level is another team is on growth, marketing. These are very much focused on acquiring new users, uh, designing uh, really key data pipelines and uh, figuring out business metrics in terms of how to grow their business. Uh, and then lastly, I think a uh, common data science team is the member UI and engineering team in which they're actually trying to figure out how to optimize the user experience of the product so everyone can navigate Netflix a lot easier and you can spend a lot more time in the app binging your favorite shows. <laughs> okay, so what's the actual interview process like? Uh, Netflix is very similar to other companies. They have like a recruiter screen 
then they have a hiring manager screen and technical screen. And then after that, you have an on-site interview, right? And I would say that every single recruiter is uh, very technical in their own nature in which um, they want to make sure that if they pass, uh, if you pass their interview, that you're likely going to actually make it to the next round and even an on-site. And so they ask a lot of deep questions about your experience. Um, this is really not a time to just try to like make up your way in or just uh, make up projects like they'll definitely know bullshit from actual truth. And so definitely try to cement your experience down, uh, nail like your pitches, nail like the projects that you've done, talk about all the technical jargon that you usually wouldn't talk to to a recruiter, but definitely mention that in your calls. Um, with like the recruiter when you're doing that initial phone screen because they really want to know your experience and really get down to the nitty gritty there. Um, next, I would say that there is generally a hiring manager screen. I'm not entirely sure how it is now with COVID, but I would say like this one is even more kind of deep on your project experience. They're going to ask you why you use a certain algorithm for a project or how you built different machine learning or analytics systems. Um, note that also that Netflix uh, is huge on culture and values, just like Amazon. And so the hiring manager will also probably tell you about the role and responsibilities and also ask you questions about general culture and how you uh, would fit into the Netflix kind of uh, cultural values. Um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but for every single Netflix interview, uh, they will definitely ask something uh, aligned to like the culture deck. So always read the Netflix culture deck before you go on the interview. Um, it's pretty much this like the standard for basically operating at um, the capacity that Netflix has done and grown in the past you know 20 years in which they've always had this idea of hiring the best performers and firing like the bottom 10% no matter who they are and I'd say that um, you know it's not as cutthroat as uh, you might expect but it also uh, doesn't change the fact that you know if you can't do your job they're gonna lay you off, right? And so uh, that's definitely something that you should keep in mind when you're thinking also about the kind of place that you wanna work at. Um, I've heard that it's not you know, expected for you to just be able to be working you know, 80 hours a week or something like that. It's more like you need to get your stuff done. And if you can't do, get the stuff done at the level that you're expected to, then uh, yep, X, okay. Uh, <laughs> next one, uh, I would say in terms of like technical screen, uh, these questions kind of vary based on the role. I'm assuming that most people that are looking for like the data science role are probably looking more on the product analytics side. Uh, and so these are going to span across SQL, experimentation, A-B testing, and some machine learning questions. Uh, and so you'll see questions such as like, uh, what do you know about A-B testing in the context of streaming? Uh, and then some more kind of ML-based communication questions such as what is the best way to communicate ML results to stakeholders. So those are all good examples of general um, and different kinds of interview questions that they may ask. Um, one question that is more reserved for system design is something more like, uh, how would you build Netflix type ahead search? And you can share, check out that mock interview uh, with Dan that I've done uh, in the playlist channel. Lastly is the on-site interview. Uh, this comprises of two parts uh, with a lunch break in between you are probably going to fly out if you're out of state uh, and you're either going to go to Los Altos in the San Francisco Bay Area or you're going to go to uh, Los Angeles uh, in Hollywood and you're going to meet with six to seven different people, data scientists, team members, hiring managers, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and you're definitely going to talk about all those things we just mentioned, A-B testing, uh, some Python, machine learning, product, definitely, and analytical concepts. Uh, and I would say that the goal is to really um, brush up on your knowledge and understand these concepts at a fundamental level and how they can be applied to Netflix products, right? And so definitely remember to think about the Netflix product itself. How does Netflix work? How do they make money? Uh, how do they acquire users? How do they uh, enable their users to stay on their platform for so long? Really think about um, the different product. Just go home, browse Netflix if you have it go through the different types of features that they have and just really read up a lot about the company before you do your interview. Um, again, everyone, please remember to read the Netflix culture deck. Culture is everything at Netflix and they literally released a hundred plus page slide deck to the public just so that you would read it before your interview. So definitely read that. Um, it is at this point just straight up expected, right? 
Uh, lastly, I would say that in terms of offers and negotiation, uh, Netflix is super competitive in terms of what they offer to uh, their candidates once they actually sign them on. Uh, it's not un uncommon for their technical hires to receive offers over 300K uh, in total base salary uh, without any sort of stock options or anything. They just give you a ton of money uh, and they basically then ask you if you wanna convert any of that into stock later on uh, when you're actual employer at that company. And so in terms of negotiation, I've heard some funny stories about people asking for an offer and then getting an even bigger offer from Netflix. Um, I would say don't go extreme if you know this fact and ask for an outlandish offer, but just check out some websites, Glassdoor, Levels, DiFYI, just to understand exactly where you are in the ballpark with your experience and uh, be prepared to uh, just negotiate on behalf of uh, yourself and um, get some advice from people online as well. <laughs> uh, lastly, I wanted to go over a few data science interview questions from Netflix. Uh, these are specific to Netflix itself. And so, for example, a pretty common one is, how would you build and test a metric to compare two users' ranked lists of movies, TV show preferences? How would you select a representative sample of search queries from 5 million? Um, how would you approach uh, attribution modeling to measure marketing effectiveness? And how would you determine if the price of a Netflix subscription is truly the deciding factor for a consumer? Uh, all these interview questions are on Interview Query, so check us out at uh, interviewquery.com. If you have any more questions about the process or you have any comments you'd like to leave, uh, just put them in the comments section. And please like and subscribe to these videos so that I'll be encouraged to make more. Thanks. Bye.